let us go for instantaneous change of y with respect to x. So from graph how to calculate that I will see. Yx graph, let me take an arbitrary graph like this. So what I told you, if you want to calculate dy by dx, let us say at x is equal to some 5 meters. So what is the value, what is the point that corresponds to x is equal to 5? So this is the point. At that point what you have to do? You have to draw a tangent. This is tangent to the yx graph. Tangent to the yx graph. So dy by dx gives you slope of tangent drawn to the graph at that point. At that point means which point? At which point you want to calculate? dy by dx. At x is equal to 5 I want to calculate. It has to give that at which point I have to calculate. At x equal to 5 meters he asked me to calculate the instantaneous change of y with respect to x. That's why at that point I have drawn a tangent and uh, I am calculating the slope of the tangent. Already I told you to calculate the slope of this uh, tangent because it is a straight line. You can select any two points. Which points? any two points because straight line slope does not change you can select it. these two points or this point and this point or this point and this point or this point and this point so corresponding values of x1 y1 x2 y2 x1 y1 x2 y2 you read and slope will be y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 or slope of this tan theta value the same way, suppose if xt graph is given like this, displacement time graph or position time graph is given and if he ask me to calculate instantaneous velocity at t equal to, this uh, is time axis so you will be having time values at t equal to 3 seconds for example. So I will go for identifying this uh, point and at that point what I do? I draw a tangent and I will calculate the slope of this tangent. So V instantaneous is equal to dx by dt. Rate of change of displacement or differentiation of x with respect to time or instantaneous velocity we call it as. So it is equal to slope of tangent drawn to xt graph at particular instant. That particular instant is very important. So we can calculate instantaneous velocity. So to calculate instantaneous velocity we need xt graph. Suppose if he gives vt graph and at t equal to 2 seconds, let me take here and uh, if I want to calculate uh, instantaneous acceleration that is equal to dv by dt. So dv by dt is the slope of tangent. drawn to vt graph at particular instant at particular instant so you can select any two points here one point is for t1 v1 another point is for t2 v2 so slope you can calculate so that you can calculate instantaneous uh, acceleration at that instant this is the method how you can use the knowledge of differentiation in kinematics. 
and previously we have seen average change of y with respect to x that knowledge we used to calculate average velocity from xt graph average acceleration from vt graph